Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play South Park. So, in this episode, we actually don't have a main quest just yet. And I think we've sort of petered out on side quests, unless I go back and start changing my um, secondary class to get all the raisins on a rampage thing. Uh, so we need to go back to the police station. We can also head to the school and get into Token's locker, which I think might be a decent idea. If there's anything good there. However, fast travel from here is on Main Street. So I gotta go there anyway. And who knows? Maybe something will happen from there to here. Which is likely. People seem to video call me all the time. Which I don't know how is happening. Skype on a phone, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. A lot of people in South Park don't seem very... Uh, technology friendly. Except for Cartman. Cartman's always out in the up and up. Which is surprising. Not that surprising, actually. All right. Need to get somewhere fast, you kid. Uh, yep. South Park Elementary. You assaulted the school in the first game. I gotta play the first game. I really should, actually. I I'm enjoying this a lot. See you, new kid. All right. Why are 6th graders hanging out next to the elementary? I guess not everywhere. I guess, I'm now that I'm thinking about it, sometimes. Oh, nice. I think I got his superhero stuff. Really, it helps just to make those for the hell of it. And I don't have any materials for anything here. All right, and let's go to the police station. Ugh. That's what I thought. And then over here, past the church. I'm surprised we haven't seen Jesus. Weird. Uh, for sure, I thought Jesus would be a uh, thing. I still can't get in there. How do you get the keys to open that door? Who are you supposed to be? Tidy Liberace? Go on through. <laughs> I wonder if he lets us through because nobody's laughing at his joke. Good work on clearing that kingpin, little crime stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. Okay, then. Got gumption, crime stopper. Huddle up, it's selfie time. Hey, I could get a selfie. And because I have the sergeant selfie, I think I could get everybody else in the station. Sure, I'll take a shot with a little deputy. Put that in your scrap. <laughs> Just talking. Hey, look at that. Just talk. Wow, that's it? I may have actually done everything at the police station. Well, if it isn't my little PR team, you finished posting those headshots? I don't know where the next one goes. Post those photos, kid. It's not difficult. Hey, you help me out, I help you out. God, there's so many pictures of clowns in there. And observation would really look to end. Okay. I guess that's it. And I'm guessing when I come out of here, I'll have a little cutscene or something. Right? Buzzord, I have to say I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Coon out. Ooh, okay. We can actually walk there, it's not that far. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> breaking all of that. Wait, can you break this? Attacking a powerful snow woman, huh? How difficult. Nevertheless, we persisted. She needs to be more assertive. Yeah, but not too assertive, or her snow boss will think she's a snow bitch. 
That's right. Walk away. Walk away. Snow boss will think she's a snow bitch. Oh, children and their imaginations. Oh yeah, I gotta get a fuck ton of money and uh, buy these selfie passes at the raisins place. I wonder how you do that. How do you like make a ton of money in this game? Is there a way? I don't know. Also, I'm sure I can get another reward. On you play now. Actually, why don't we check? Because it's incredibly boring, but I'm very curious. I don't know, actually know if you could see this club challenges. Uh, yeah, I think we have more points now. Club rewards. Uh, we have 35. Yeah, we could totally get something. Um, no, there's only actually two more left to get. So if I redeem that, back to game. There we go, got the goth one, and the last one is just a crafting pack, which actually probably, at this point, would have been better, because you probably get a ton of crafting materials, and it helps for raising your crafting level, but never know. I'm still annoyed that I didn't get my very, very first one, but you should technically be able to get oh, man, I am wrecked. all of the uh, achievements and, and, and all of the challenges... With the You're stuff that's in the game, right? Where are you going, pussy? You're a pussy. Pussy. Like they wouldn't make me get those you play rewards just to get one of their things done, right? Fast. Franchise screwed. Huh. Wait. Get. Scramble fast. Why did it change? No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Uh... Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking actually zooms through but lord i just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own netflix series right after the fast pass fox miniseries and the third coon and friends united movie congratulations <laughs> okay well get out there and finish your goals just uh wanted to tell you the exciting news what do you want new kid i already let you dual class there's nothing left to talk about oh no 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 no, no. you are not going to have three classes new kid New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gives to me three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all this sympathy <laughs> in the world? You... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, fuck. Um, gadgeteer. Assassin. This one, this one seems like a uh, Cartman. Psychic. Psychic. It'd be nice to have a long-range attack. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. <sighs> blaster. Oh, a blaster would wouldn't be bad either. Speedster. Speedster. Uh. Let's do cyborg. <laughs> More machine than man. Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. <laughs> and in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. 
power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the lost alien that was living in your hallway. <laughs> but little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the bruiser jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. Oh, I have to do it from here. Enrages them. Yeah, I'm so enraged right now. Somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm, I'm so pissed. Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. Holy shit, what is this sh Oh, pulls everyone in? You use the damn power. even work huh. the remaining foe laid into you it was time to bring out the big guns oh man yeah that's it he's more machine than man okay then the alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room and that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. <laughs> All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. All right, interesting. All right. Wait, how do I... Are my powers still the same? Yeah. Let's do cyborg for there, and now I'm all three. <laughs> so I can get one more of those things from the raisin people. Okay. Civil War 2 playtime's over. I need to get somewhere for fit, 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 fit quickly. <laughs> there you go. There's a whole bunch of sheet on my character sheet. There's a whole bunch of sheet on my character sheet. There's a whole bunch of stuff on my character sheet that like hasn't actually been done yet. And I wonder how much of this game actually is there? Seems like a lot. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his tech said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, Coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Tool shed? Nice. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair. At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Come on! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh, yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. 
We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! <laughs> Civil War 2 is going down! <laughs> okay. Alright. Fuck it, let's do it. You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. Wow, my teammates have so much more. Can I see the rest of the battlefield, please? No? Okay, cool. I can't, I, I can't fucking see anything. How would you like a screwdriver sandwich, Coon? No. Oh, I can hit him. Look at that. What? Here comes the cavalry. Fighting Dr. Timothy is a mistake beyond your comprehension. Microaggression. Hit him. <laughs> Oops. I'd call that an appropriate application of force. All right. Can I actually do anything from here? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, token fucking sucks. Impressive Tupperware, most impressive. He does a lot of damage. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Uh. There we go. This might sting. Yeah, another foe falls before the night of Coon and Friends. Time to DIY some justice. Whoa. It's fucking great. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. Yeah. But you're not taking any shit. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you know how to read a room? Next time, leave before things get awkward. Yeah, just beat the shit out of Timmy. Oh, Timmy teleported. Timmy can do that, apparently. Attack plan, Delta Gamma, leaner fart. What the fuck? Is that a hundred damage? Watch me, watch me. I'm gonna do something. Watch me. No. Your turn is now property of Coon and Friends. Let's beat these poopy heads. You made a funny face. Timmy, Timmy. All right. Light, teeth, whatever. Gotta save. Gotta save the ultimate. Save some for the king. Targeting systems online. Uh, oh, whoops. Full of surprises, Tupperware, and perhaps a few leftovers. All right. Uh, no. Get me. You do something? I was too busy not giving a fuck. God damn it, Super Craig. Show some respect to your colleagues. Why start now? <laughs> Every tool has its place in the fight for freedom. Oh, I literally just switched from... Alright, so I'll take you out. Or you. Or Timmy. Which I'm hoping takes out the uh, kindergartners. <laughs> Oh, 
department's only working for himself, new kid. My turn. Diabetes claims another victim. Oh my god. Yo. Yeah. Uh, stupid head. Do I really have to take out the little kids? I'm in a timeout. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> That's what you get for being a dummy bar's face. I'm hoping it ends the fight right here. Nah, do not. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Bam. Oh, yeah, and here rank six. Another epic slot. I don't know what that means, but sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses. You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it. New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Fucking asshole. You guys have Zack Snyder to write your fucking movie. <laughs> this is hey, so much more appropriate. Work, Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, a couple things need to be looked at. So we have a new artifact slot. Great unique abilities. Okay. Kun command. Right. Unlocks the power of epic artifacts capable of exotic combat effect. Non-refundable material fees may apply. Do I have any others? Because I feel like it makes me equip the level 10 ones, but... All right. Or they're really shitty ones first, but I guess not. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do I have any other missions to go? Nope. All scavenger hunts. And raisins on a rampage, but that's about at the same place. So, to get there. It might not be a bad idea to go through raisins and get over to the microbrew. So just continue on through Main Street and take the alley. And then other quests have a habit of just appearing every now and then. I suppose I could beat Freeman yet. Delaney has given us all something to believe in. Fifty-three dollars. After the market collapsed. I might, I might buy a selfie pass for one of them. Cause I've got fifty-three now. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up like having to spend sixty dollars on something, and I'm gonna regret spending the money, but. It seems like if you have at least 25 on you, you can get most of the stuff in the game. You know, without it being like ripped out from under you. Those superhero meanies mess with the wrong raisins, girls. Maybe next time. All right, into raisins. There's a guy in here who likes cyborgs. The raisins girls won't care about your celebrity vigilante. They keep it real. With karate kid superheroes who tip well. Huh. Okay, just don't kill me. Oh, do I already have yours or? Yeah, I do. Where's the cyborg kid? Sorry, I only follow psychic superheroes. Okay, sure. Nope, I already got yours. A cyborg. Okay, selfie time. There it is. Huh. Welcome to Ra Oh, it's you. Uh, I guess... Mercedes is the one literally right in front of me, right? Alright, I'll just do that. Cool. Let's never talk 
again. Brains, beauty, bottomless lemon. Ooh, you have a golden ticket for a selfie with Mercedes. I don't know what these selfies actually do, but I imagine it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you, Mercedes. Well, alrighty then. It's like a weird sort of collectible. I never would have thought about it. Selfies. It's kind of innovative in its own weird, strange way. Oh, God. Okay, so, last microaggression thing. Although, wait, we're getting a race and something else. What does that mean? You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. Let's determine exactly what you are. He's white. White? Ooh. Russian. Race and ethnicity are very different things. But we already chose our skin tone. Nice. It's your many splendor journey. White Russian. <laughs> I'm a drink. You see, that wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante's setting a good example for the young folks. All right, well, I get. do I get more chances for microaggressions now? Is what he's saying? Wow, there were like three or four music cues that were happening at the exact same time. That was a little... Wow. We need a tool. As in... Like the guy who just said that he doesn't really like us? Alright, let's head back there. Righteous! There you go. <laughs> he puts you down so gently. All right. Let's go in here. Get. Scramble fast. There you are. Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, butt lord. All right, everyone. Two empty seats. Butt lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U-Store entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is... Tool Shed. Tool Shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool Shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool Shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Oh, he's the buddy. Well, Interesting. Looks like you're gonna come in handy again, Bud Lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Toolshed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store at tonight. To bed, everybody. Coon friends are on the case. Go on home, Butt Lord. If all goes according to plan, Toolshed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Toolshed is a two-faced backstabbing butt sniff. And also has some awesome uh, abilities from what I saw. I forgot to look kind of like Jesus underneath all of it. Also, I put the beard on because that's what I have. I didn't realize that, like, we're in fourth grade. <laughs> so it's just a fourth grader with a beard. All right, let's just uh, go home and see what dysfunction our family has, right? Oh, God. Simish. They're fucking doing Simish. 
Lado is just a leaf on a hunger rata. No shall be done over in leaf shall Lado. Huh. Well, anyways. <sighs> just gotta listen to this. See you guys next time. Bye bye.